Cervantes was born in Alcalá de Henares in 1547 and died in Madrid in 1616. His father, Rodrigo de Cervantes, was a doctor of few means. Nothing is known of his mother, Leonor de Cortinas. It appears that Cervantes studied with the Jesuits in Cordoba or Seville and perhaps in Salamanca. It is fairly certain that he was a pupil of Lopez de Hoyos in Madrid. In 1569 he went to Italy as part of a Cardinal Aquavivas retinue and after signing up as a soldier in 1570 fought in the Battle of Lepanto aboard the gallery Marquesa. For the rest of his life he would boast of the several wounds that he received in his hands and in his forehead. Subsequently he fought in the Corfuru, Naravino, and Tunis campaigns. On his way back to Spain in 1575 the galley El Sol was attacked by Turkish ships and Cervantes was taken captive to Algeria. During his five years of captivity he wrote the Epistola a Mateo Vaquez. Uh, Juan Gil obtained Cervantes' freedom in 1580 in exchange for 500 ducats. Once back in Spain he became a tax collector for the Invincible Armada. He had one daughter Isabel from his liaison with Ana de Villafranca. He married Catalina de Salazar y Palacios in 1584. He was twice imprisoned for embezzlement and for not paying his debts. He went to jail in 1603 when the corpse of Gaspar de Espaleta was found on his doorstep but he was released for lack of evidence. From 1613, one of his books will appear every year until the last one, Persiles, with its dedication in which he takes leave of his readers, signed three days before his death on April 23, 1616. Cervantes' novels listed chronologically are La Galatea, 1585, El In Genioso Hidalgo Don Quixote de la Mancha in 1605, Novelas Ejemplares in 1613, Segunda Parte del Ingenioso Caballero Don Quixote de la Mancha in 1615, and Los Trabajos de Persiles y Segismunda, excuse me, these uh, words are hard to pronounce, uh, Historia Septrinunal in 1617. Los Trabajos is the best evidence not only of the survival of Greek novelistic themes but also of the survival of forms and ideas of the Spanish novel of the Second Renaissance. This work was published after the author's death. In 1605, Miguel de Cervantes E. Saavedra published the first part of his novel, El Ingenioso Hidalgo Don Quixote de la Mancha. Dedicated to the Duke of Bejar, it was published in Juan de la Cuesta's printing shop under the supervision of Francisco de Robles. An unprecedented success, six editions came out in the first year and it was translated into English in 1612 and into French in 1614. Given to reading books of chivalry, the protagonist, Alonso Quijano, influenced by the exploits of his heroes, loses his mind and decides to become a knight, go out in search of adventure, and impose justice according to the code of the knights errant. Cervantes' work, a keen critique of the literature of his time, presented the clash between reality and the ideals which Don Quixote sought to revive, and at the same time originated the theme of the clairvoyance of insanity. In 1614, Alonso Fernandez de Avellaneda 
possibly a pen name, published a Segundo Tomo del Ingenioso Hidalgo Don Quixote de la Mancha in Tarragona while Cervantes was working on his uh, own part two, which appeared in 1615. Cervantes' book was read as a parody of novels of chivalry until the Romantics revealed its true importance as a, as a novel. Part 1 interpolates peripheral episodes into the main plot. This structural aspect was criticized in Cervantes' time and continues to be so in the present. This criticism had a big effect on the second part where these stories no longer appear. Starting with the Retablo de Maesa Pedro, Cervantes demonstrates a mastery of theatrical illusion which, absent from part one, becomes another narrative function in part two. The Quixote is a Aristotelian meditation on the nature of literature and the role of the writer in society. Cervantes makes a distinction between poetic truth and historical truth and attempts through the use of parody to set their boundaries. He shows how not distinguishing between the two leads to the moral degradation of his hero and consequently of his public.